viewers uh, today i'll uh, start with a chemistry chapter of class 6 syllabus icse board okay so, uh, some students have requested for uh, making videos on chemistry chapter of class 6 so i'm starting with that and uh, side by side i will continue with the class 8 videos also okay so don't worry class uh, class 8 students i'll be continue with those uh, videos Uh, and complete them also, and very soon I'll start with class nine videos also, of uh, all the subjects, science subjects that is biology, physics, and chemistry. So let me start with first is introduction to chemistry. Uh, uh, what is science? Okay, so science is a systematic study of the nature and manners of an object and the natural universe that is established through observation experiments measurements and formulation of laws so what is it it is a study of the nature and the manners how the objects and the natural universe is uh, taking place inside the nature and that is done through observations uh, the experiments then through measurements and also to the formulation of laws okay science has main three division three branches are there main three branches that is physics chemistry and biology so physics is the branch of science that deals with the nature and properties of matter and energy okay it deals with the nature and the properties of matter and energy biology deals with the study of living things and chemistry is the branch of science that deals with the study of matter its composition properties reactions and the use of these okay so chemistry deals with the study of matter mainly is study of matter matter what is it what study we do that is of composition matter's composition how what is it made up of what are its properties what are the reactions which takes place in the matter and the how these reactions are used to form new substances okay so this is about chemistry we are studying chemistry so what is the chemistry about so i have told you the definition now we come to a chemist chemist is a person who does research in the field of chemistry is a chemist okay next is development of chemistry so it is said that the history of chemistry is history of civilization so when the civilization occurred the chemistry also developed since the prehistoric times chemistry is known be it the brewers that is who uh, uh, i mean to develop be uh, there's uh, beverages that is wine and all those then winters brewers and winters using fermentation techniques to produce cheer uh, cheese sorry beer cheese and uh, women or housewives leaching the lyre or form the wood ash to make soap or the smiths who learned the combined of uh, combination of copper and tin to make bronze okay so all these are chemistry okay that is from the prehistoric times this has been going on but the officially this ha this uh, uh, i mean uh, people didn't know that this is chemistry or official this chemistry word or chemistry subject is not been declared that time okay it took its pre present scientific form in the 18th century in the 18th century its scientific form was noted when careful quantitative experiments by lavoisier proust and dalton resulted in the law of definite proportions the law of multiple proportions and the law of conservation of mass that laid the groundwork for dalton's atomic theory of matter okay so in the 18th century lavoisier proust and dalton they all did some experiments okay and they formulated some laws what was that law of definite proportions law of the multiple proportions law of conservation of mass okay and that uh, laid the groundwork for uh, dalton to make the atomic theory of matter now before that one of the remarkable uses and study of chemistry was conducted by alchemists of europe 
before these experiments, before this 18th century, when these were uh, Lavoisier, Proust, and Dalton, what the experiments they did, before that, some experiments were done by alchemists of Europe. Okay. They primarily aimed, these alchemists of Europe, they primarily aimed to transform common metals into gold and silver by using philosopher's stone. Okay, and developing exceller of making uh, of life that is making life immortal. Okay, what they did, they tried to make uh, gold and silver from common metals. Okay, by using philosopher's stone. Okay, uh, some uh, some uh, what is it mythological uh, type of thing that is some magic they wanted to do. Okay. Uh, some developing elixir of life that is making life immortal or development of universal solvent they tried to create. Okay. Then the middle-aged chemists were unsuccessful and so made significant discoveries. The middle-aged uh, chemists, they, try, they tried this but they were unsuccessful and so they started discovering. Now ancient smiths used naturally occurring and relatively pure metals like gold, silver and copper. The ancients means they used this pure metals like gold, silver and copper. Okay. Next, gold was used primarily for jewelry and for its shine and luster. Okay. Silver was also used for simple, similar purposes but was hardly known at that time. Okay. Gold was mainly known for its shine and luster and so it was used for jewelry. Silver was also used but that was that time. Uh, it was hardly known to people. Then copper was used for making tools as could be hard enough by hammering. Uh, 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 it was made hard by hammering but was generally not used for making weapons. And weapons were made at that time by tin. Okay, it was alloyed with copper to make bronze. And that uh, was used for making tools and weapons. Okay. So copper directly was not used or rather not, uh, neither tin also, both of them combined together. I mean, people combined both of them together to form bronze and then alloyed, that is, uh, made an alloy and the bronze and then they used it for tools and weapons making. The development of chemistry was primarily concerned with the earliest practical knowledge of metallurgy, pottery and dyes. Okay. These techniques developed but without the proper knowledge of principles okay how this happened they people did not know but they try to uh, practical uh, i mean use it for metallurgy for metal making then pottery then dyes okay then uh, importance of chemistry chemistry was to, uh, is used in agriculture extraction of metals that is metallurgy then cosmetics and health fuels textiles electronics and other fields in every field you can see chemistry has an importance the agriculture field chemistry offered uh, fertilizers insecticides pesticides fungicides they help in the production of increase the production of food then extraction of metals like iron gold steel brass aluminium copper and silver they all are made due to chemistry and they used for various items like for making utensils vehicles tools machines buildings factories etc then cosmetics uh, like powders creams moisturizer deodorants then perfumes soaps lipsticks and nail polish all, all uh, are the uh, gift of chemistry and they're used for grooming ourselves for decorating for uh, decorating ourselves okay and then uh, health is uh, for, uh, chemistry offers us medicines then test kits test kits then equipments okay and importance is to conduct medical tests these test kits and equipments they are used for performing medical tests to give, find a reason of our bad health why we are having health hazards okay what why we are having a disease that has to be found out through medical tests and that is offered by chemistry and also the discovery of new medicines that can be also done through chemistry then fuels uh, the products uh, which are offered by chemistry is petrol diesel kerosene liquefied petroleum gas that is lpg cng okay uh, that is compressed natural gas okay then the importance is for cooking food lpg is used for cooking food LPG is for uh, running vehicles uh, then um, uh, and transportation of goods and human beings. These are all uh, done through chemistry. 
then textiles the dyes of different colors and artificial fibers like nylon rayon they are also a gift of chemistry these are used for making clothes of different colors then electronics silicon and germanium that is also offered by chemistry and they are used for making television computers laptops etc then other fields where the chemistry is used is plastic explosive sport goods sports goods then paints and cement okay then they are used for defense sports construction of a building fertile uh, factories etc okay now importance of chemistries are offered in the different fields that is communication fertilizers transport residue creation preservatives luxuries health pesticides buildings okay then food products cold cloth and garments and natural national defense okay so i'll stop here uh, i'll uh, discuss uh, the remaining portion of this chapter in my next video uh, please go through this if you have any doubt any other questions you want to know please write in the comment box i'll uh, reply as soon as possible okay and uh, do share with your friends so that they can also be benefited from these videos and also subscribe to get the notification of my next video okay so thank you thank you for watching and have a good day